What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. It's Miss Wilson on the ones and twos. If you are new here, welcome. You just lucked up because you just clicked on the best math channel on YouTube. So don't hesitate, don't wait. Go ahead and subscribe right now because I already know you're going to end up subscribing. So yeah, go ahead. Today we are going to review how to multiply a multi-digit number times another multi-digit number using our favorite strategy, well, my favorite strategy, the area model. If you're not too familiar with the area model, make sure you go back to my other video where I do more of a breakdown of the area model using multi-digit and single digit numbers. I'll link that somewhere up in here. Without further ado, Let's get started. We have 28 times 48. First step is the same. You're gonna draw a box, but make it look more like a square since both numbers have the same number of digits. Then we're going to write both numbers in expanded form, one on the top of the box and one on the side of the box. Now, everywhere you see a plus sign, put a line. Then we multiply the length and width of each box, aka the corners, like this. Corner one, corner two, corner three, corner four. Now you may be thinking, Miss Wilson, some of these corners are missing numbers. However, you can tell what the missing length and widths are by looking across at the other one. So if this one is 40, then across from it is 40. If this is eight, across from it is eight. 20, 20, eight, eight. I'll leave these up here for now, but for the next problem, I'm not going to write in the missing numbers. Now we're ready to multiply. Starting with 40 times 20. 40 times 20 is 800, and then 40 times eight is 320. 8 times 20 is 160, and 8 times 8 is 64. Last step, we take our partial products and we add them all together. 800 plus 320 plus 160 plus 64. And when we add those together, we get 1,344. Bam! And there's our answer. And y'all already know how we do. It's time to level up, level up, level up, level up, level up. So for our next problem, we have 417 times 39. Same first step, draw a box. Make the top a little longer since one of our numbers has more digits. Then we're going to write both in expanded form. Everywhere you see a plus sign, draw your line, and we're ready to multiply. We're going to multiply the numbers along the top times 30, and then the numbers along the top times 9. I'm going to move a little bit faster this time. So 400 times 30 is 12,000. 10 times 30, 300. 7 times 30, 210. 400 times 9, 3,600. 10 times 9 is 90. And 7 times 9 is 63. This time we have 6 partial products instead of 4. So let's use some mental math to chunk these together. 12,000 plus 3,600 is gonna give us 15,600. 300 plus 90 is 390. And 210 plus 63 is 273. 
Now we can take those three numbers and add them together and we won't have so much to add. So we have 15,600 plus 390 plus 273. When we add those all together, we get 16,263. Yes, that's a lot of money right there. Y'all could go ahead and deposit that straight into my bank account, okay? Ka-ching! Don't forget to subscribe, and if you have any tutorial requests or questions, leave them in the comments below.